Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This video is going to be a week long vlog, but not the type of vlog that you're used to seeing on YouTube because instead of following my life, we're gonna be following my hair. For anyone that is new here and doesn't know what my wash schedule is, I feel like I have to preface this video by saying that because that's really the reason why I'm making a hair vlog. So I only wash my hair once a week and whenever I bring that up, I see so many questions asking basically how I manage my hair throughout the week in doing that. How I deal with the greasiness, what I do with it when I work out, how I sleep in it, what products I apply throughout the week. So that is exactly what we are going to be going through here today. But instead of just talking about it, I'm actually going to be showing you guys in real time how my hair actually progresses. Side note, if you are kind of wondering why I only wash my hair once a week and why I personally feel that that is one of the most important things for me to do to maintain healthy hair, then I'm going to list a video below where I talk about how water damages the hair, the other things that can happen to our hair on wash day that can cause damage and breakage, and how we can prevent slash fix those things. So not going to dive into that in this video because it really is just a whole topic that needs a separate video on its own, which I already created. So that is listed below. I would definitely check that out after this if you haven't seen that yet. But back to this video, I am essentially just going to be showing you guys an up close personal look at my hair throughout the week, how it changes and everything that I do to take care of my hair because I am not washing and conditioning it every single day in the shower. So if you're curious to see how greasy my hair truly looks after seven days of not washing it, you have come to the right spot. Before we jump into this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. All of those things truly do help me out so much because it makes sure that my videos are actually recommended to others and the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for doing that. It truly does go a long way. Instagram and TikTok handle are right here. You should come follow me on both of those platforms and my Lightroom preset filters for editing Instagram photos are listed in my description box below. Without further ado, let's jump into this hair vlog. All right, y'all, week-long hair vlog starts now. We are starting off looking really cute. So I actually washed my hair two days ago on Thursday. Yesterday, I thought there was no point in checking in and showing you guys my hair because it was freshly washed. I mean, we all know what that looks like, but today I am gonna go ahead and style it. I have brunch plans in a little bit, so I thought I would just show you guys where I am at on day two. So on wash day, I did not actually style my hair at all. I did a really rough kind of finger blow dry like that, but I didn't use a round brush, really did not do anything to style it, just used that to dry the hair. And then I actually slept in my hair the last two nights with just a loose twist. So this is what my hair looks like after pretty much no styling and sleeping in it for two nights in a row with that loose twist. So I will show you guys here how I do that. Very, very simple, pretty much the same thing as a braid, just with two pieces instead of three. And then I will go ahead and secure that at the end with some sort of scrunchie. I love my satin scrunchies from Amazon or a hosiery elastic from Scoonchie. Of course, I will list all of those below. Because I'm using my curling iron today, that is why I decided to not round brush my hair with my blow dry a couple days ago. Round brushing, of course, just takes more time and and applies more heat to the hair. So more heat exposure equals more heat damage, of course. And because I knew I was going to be adding heat damage today with a curling iron, I thought I would forgo that a couple days ago. So I like to think about what my plans are for styling throughout the week. And then I will kind of base what I do with heat on that, if that makes sense. So for heat protection, I'm going to be using the Bondi Boost Heat Protect Spray. And I always, always, always make sure to apply heat protection on dry hair. So if you're restyling your hair throughout the week, make sure to reapply heat protection because the heat protection that you applied to blow dry the hair a few days before is not still going to work on the hair. You need fresh heat protection. So I'm gonna use this, not be shy about the amount that I add to the hair. So I do get my hair decently damp and I like to actually suction this off to make sure that all of my hair is getting coated. I'm doing extra on the ends just to be certain that we are not missing these dead ends. I need a trim so badly, but I recently got my hair colored and they weren't able to get me in for a trim for that same day. So I have to wait. The ends are looking crazy. So I am just brushing through right now with my Wet Brush Pro. Love this thing. There's hair in it that I need to clean out. So I'm not gonna flash that to you guys up close. But now I'm ready to go to curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl that and then I will jump back on the camera after to show you guys what I apply to my hair once it is finished being curled. Hair is curled. We are, I don't know why I just scooted so far back. We are ready to go. I am gonna go get my brunch on. It's actually my best friend's birthday today. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go do a little bottomless brunch situation. So I am just kind of roughly brushing through these 
curls to make them fluffier, a little bit less structured. But I just wanted to show you guys this so that you can see what my hair looks like after it's freshly styled. Obviously very different than when we first checked in and is going to be very different from a few days from now. So this is where we're at when my hair is basically looking the best it possibly can. So what I'm gonna do now, sorry I'm winded because I've been trying to rush to get ready so that I'm not late to brunch. So I'm gonna use my Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. I showed you guys this in my Sephora haul. I love it. Just a few pumps of that and I'm just gonna run that through the ends of my curls, just add some really pretty shine. Okay, so that is the final result. I'll also give you guys a close up now of my roots so that we can kind of see grease level on technically day three because it's been two days since I washed. I'll show you guys right here too because on me personally, around the face is where I get the most greasy. So you'll see as the week goes on that that's where my roots look extra separated. But right now, no grease. We're in a good spot, so I'm not going to use dry shampoo today. I don't feel like I need to. That is it for this check-in. We will check back in later when my hair is not looking as fluffy and pretty and put together. I can promise you that. So we're good. Check back in later. Okay, so it is, what day is it? It's Sunday and I washed my hair end of day Thursday. I am very tired. I had a long day yesterday. That brunch just kind of turned into an all-day event. So this is what my hair is looking like last night i just threw it into a loose twist again so i didn't do anything to try to make the curls last today i will do that tonight though so that i can have curly hair tomorrow because tomorrow is my filming day so just going to be brushing through definitely have some tangles here anything like this that is not just like a minor tangle that a brush can easily work through I will kind of like fluff out with my brush or I'll separate that with my fingers if it's truly knotted. This usually does the trick though. So here is where we are at. I will give a little root update so we can see how greasy I am looking now. And then in here, I can probably put this down a little bit now. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see all of my hair. So still not looking too greasy. I mean, obviously we're looking greasier than when I first checked in, but I also don't have any plans the rest of the day, so I don't feel a need to apply dry shampoo. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit more of a hair oil. So this one is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. This one's great. It actually helps to protect against heat and UV damage. So nice to have. If you're gonna be out in the sun, just doing a few drops, I don't want that to spill. You definitely don't need to have multiple hair oils for different days of the week. I just obviously have a lot of products because I'm testing product all the time to review. Okay, so here I just found a little snarl, so I am going to detangle this with my fingers. Anything like that, I make sure not to tug because that's just gonna cause breakage. And something like that, I do not run my brush through just running this oil through the ponytail length of my hair not bringing it up really anywhere above the bottoms of my ears because that will definitely make me look greasy but i just like to do this to again help to make sure that i am preventing excess tangles throughout the week so i typically do apply some sort of hair oil like this every couple days, sometimes every day, but I'm not applying a ton of product every time that I do that. So obviously the amount of product that your hair can kind of take each day or throughout the week is going to vary and not necessarily be the same as mine. So just do what works best for your hair. All right, so that is where we are at for day four. I am just planning on laying on the couch the rest of the day and watching Netflix one of those days, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna secure my hair and put it into another loose twist. And then I'm using my hosiery scoochie, no, my scoochie hosiery elastic, I always say that backwards, just to secure right there. All right, we'll check back in later. All right, we are back. It's 7.30 in the morning right now on a Monday. I am feeling it. Iced coffee already pretty much completely gone because I needed that so bad. So I think yesterday when I was filming, I said hair vlog day four, but that was day three. Today is day four, it's Monday and we are starting to look a little bit greasy for sure, so I'm definitely going to apply dry shampoo today, but this is what my hair looks like right now. So I just took it down out of the pinup curls that I slept in. I am just going to brush through it a little bit because it's definitely looking a little crazy up top here. After I sleep, my hair is just always kind of frizzed up, so I'll just gently brush through that. And I just like to make sure that I'm brushing my hair every single day 
once a day to make sure that I am detangling anything that needs to be detangled. So these are what those curls look like. I love it. It's obviously not as structured as when I first curled it, but they're just super voluminous and fluffy and it just creates such a pretty look. And this was last night with no additional heat applied. And you guys saw how much my curls had fallen before. So honestly, kind of amazing. Okay, let's do a grease check. And then under here, oh yeah, we are definitely starting to look greasier today, but it's funny because on this side of my part, I really don't have any of that separation going on. This is a spot that I find myself just kind of mindlessly touching and pulling back away from my face all the time. So that is a tip that I share a lot. If you find that your hair is getting greasy too quickly, really try to make a conscious effort not to touch the hair because we can kind of see right here what the difference is between a spot that's touched frequently and one that is not kind of crazy, honestly. Okay, the dry shampoo that I'm gonna use today is the Redken Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. This stuff is no joke. It's so, so good. It does have a white cast at first, but it's something that for me completely absorbs once I blend it into the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, so I'll show you guys now what that is looking like. So much better. This one does just take me a little bit of time to sit there and massage the scalp to make sure that that white cast goes away. But once it's gone, I think it looks great. The oil absorption is amazing and it gives really, really good volume. So I would definitely recommend that one if you are looking for a new dry shampoo. Here is where we're at with hair. So my hair is gonna be down for the majority of the day, but I think I'm gonna go on a run later. So I'll show you guys how I pull that up for a run then. I just realized, yeah, checking in, I didn't show because I didn't work out Saturday or Sunday. So that'll be good. Check in for a little workout day. Okay, just finished filming for the day. So I am going to brush through my hair and put it up in a ponytail so I can go out on a run. I need to take off my makeup, put on sunscreen. Okay, so my favorite hair tie for runs or anything that I'm going to be doing where I get really, really sweaty is this extra long, no damage elastic from Scoonchie. The reason why I love this is because it's something that still is gonna secure the hair tightly so that it's not falling down when you're running or working out, but it's gentler than something like a really small hair elastic that puts more pressure on the hair, if that makes sense. Just with the larger surface area, a little bit gentler. So I am just gonna do a high pony about right here. The reason why I like to do that for sweaty workouts like this is because it keeps my hair away from the nape of my neck. Is that like the nape and down here? Yes, I think, which is where I tend to get the sweatiest. And if I have hair laying over that, it gets extra sweaty, it gets snarly and matted, and that is one of the things that makes my hair a lot more difficult to manage throughout the week and make it so that I feel like I have to shower sooner if I'm not careful about that. So I like to wear it up like this. Obviously some of my hair is still gonna be touching down here because I have long hair, but it's not the weight or the majority of my hair if I have it in a lower pony. So that is definitely one, oh. <sighs> This just did not work out, whatever. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and go on my run. I will show you guys what my hair looks like after so that you can see after a sweaty session what we're looking like. It is really warm out. It's 73 degrees and sunny, so I'm gonna sweat to say the least. You guys, I'm kind of shocked right now. <laughs> so I ran for about 40 minutes and then walked for an hour. It was just so nice out. I was like, I need to stay outside for longer. So, that Redken dry shampoo, I don't think I've ever gone for a sweaty run with that in. It did amazing. Look at my hair. It's not looking sweaty or greasy. I'm so confused and I definitely got very sweaty. It is pretty windy out, which does usually help me with the sweat level just to kind of absorb that, but I gotta brush through this. That is what gets crazy when I go on runs outside, especially when it's windy. So after my run, because my hair was pulled so tightly, I just took it out of the pony and then put it down in a very loose low bun. I just really don't like to wear my hair tightly pulled longer than I need to. So that is why I did that since I knew I'd be walking for about another hour. So I'm just gonna brush through this. I won't be applying any more product right now, but tonight I will be applying a little bit more product than I have so far aside from just hair oils and I will show you how I do that and what I use and how I plan to sleep in it after this. So I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a jaw clip. I am going to 
start the editing process for this week and just follow up on some emails and stuff. So I'll just be working on my laptop and I'm gonna have my hair in a jaw clip. So I'll show you that. Like, look at this. Redken, what have you done here? What kind of magic is that? Jaw clip I'm using is my extra long jaw clip that I showed in a previous Amazon favorites video, probably like my second one. It was a while ago. Should I show you guys how I do that? So I just take my hair, twist it up like this, and then kind of twist it down together. So I'll kind of pull that into here and then clip this way. Like that. Perfect. I'm obviously not trying to make this look cute because I'm not going anywhere, but okay, I'll check back in tonight before I apply product. Okay, so we are going to apply some product to the ends of my hair in a second, but a question that I wanted to address now that I'm asked all the time before I forget is how I secure my hair in the shower if I'm not washing my hair and just washing my body. So a couple different things that you can do. One of the things that I would suggest is to use some sort of towel wrap like this because this is actually going to help to protect your hair from some of the humidity that can damage the hair as well. So this one is from Kitsch, really nice soft material so you can just tie your hair up in this. Should I just put it on right now? So you just put your hair in it like this and then you wrap it and secure it at the back. So that is something that you could do that I would definitely recommend. Another option is to just make sure that all of the hair is pulled up on top of the head so that it's not going to be getting touched by that water at all on the back of the head. And where's my jaw clip? Here it is. So what I actually like to do is use a little jaw clip like that to secure it in place. So I will pull my hair on the very top of my head. Again, we are not taking any chances. I don't want it getting wet. And then I will go ahead. How can I show this? I'm grabbing my hair. Okay, I think you can see underneath like this and then twisting it around like so. And then I will take this jaw clip and just secure that loose piece right there. And then we just got something like this going on. So I actually throw my hair up like this a lot more towards the end of the week when I'm just sick of my hair. I don't even want to mess with it anymore, but I just want it out of my face. I feel like that's not even doing it justice. I can usually make it look cuter, but I actually love throwing it up like that and then I don't even have to worry about a hair tie. So wanted to make sure I showed you guys that. Okay, so by this point in the week, I am definitely in need of some more conditioning than just a hair oil. I really like to do that leading up to this point, but I can feel by this day, my hair needs some extra love and attention. So what I'm going to do is first apply a leave-in conditioning spray. This one is from Alterna. It's their Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture priming leave-in conditioner. So a lot of products like this I love to use as a leave-in conditioner even if they technically are called primers or say that they are for pre-styling the hair. I find that they work great on dry hair like this as well. I'm just going to apply a generous amount and I'm actually going to make sure that I'm sectioning off my hair so that I'm not missing any strands. I'm sorry for the glasses glare. I have to put these on for this because I cannot see anything. My vision is getting so much worse as I get older. It's kind of scary. Okay, so now that we are here, I am also going to apply a little bit of this leave-in conditioning treatment from Redken. This is their Acidic Bonding Concentrate leave-in treatment. And I love this for this type of purpose because it's definitely thicker than a mist like we just used, but it's not too, too thick to where it's really going to weigh down the hair. So I find that using this in combination with some sort of leave-in spray like that just really, really conditions my hair well, and I wake up the next morning with very nice and soft and detangled hair. And again, like I was saying earlier, if you feel that these products are too heavy to be left on the hair for multiple days, because I still am not gonna be showering for a few days, and that is totally fine. Just do what works best for your hair type. Everybody's hair is different. Okay, so now I'm just going to secure my hair into a twist again, and that is it for the night. So you definitely don't need to use both the spray and the leave-in conditioning lotion if you don't want to. I personally like to use both of those together because I feel like it really gives my hair the love that it needs, like I was saying, and also using some sort of spray to dampen the hair before applying a lotion like that does just make it easier to brush throughout the hair, not brush, apply throughout the hair evenly. So. 
that is it for the night check back in later okay so here is what my hair is looking like the next day so I absolutely love to rock this style towards the end of the week I do find that I get the best result with hair that's a little bit dirtier so if I try to do this on one of the first days after I wash my hair I'll still get some wave but not nearly as much as this so if you're trying to find a way to kind of use your dirty hair to your advantage and create a really pretty style from that this is 100% what I would recommend doing apply some product the night before to dampen the hair sleep in a braider twist and you get really pretty just textured beachy waves I am not going to apply any additional product today I really don't find a need to like this is good I'm gonna go ahead and do an upper body resistance workout and I really don't get that sweaty during those kinds of workouts so all I'm gonna do is tie my hair back into kind of a medium height ponytail and I'll just leave it like that probably for the rest of the day may end up throwing in a jaw clip at some point because I feel like I just get so annoyed with my hair I go back and forth but I'm going to use this hosiery elastic from Scoonchi. I'll always use these for ponytails or a scrunchie unless I am running outside or doing some sort of workout that I'll be jumping around a lot during because then obviously I need my hair to be more secured. And that's when I'll use that extra long elastic that we used yesterday, but otherwise these and scrunchies are my go-to. There we go. So tonight I'm not going to apply any additional product and I'm just going to sleep with my hair in the same exact way that I did last night. So we will just check back in tomorrow. But first, before we do, of course, we have to do one final grease check. All right. And these pieces. That Redken Dry Shampoo is so great, so I don't need to apply any additional product. Now I'm gonna go work out. We'll check back in tomorrow. <laughs> I told you guys, by the end of the week, we are not looking as we once were. Oh my goodness. Okay, day six, let's do a close-up root check, see how oily we're looking. Honestly, not that bad. I would venture to say this is the longest lasting dry shampoo ever. Like the fact that I did not need to reapply that. It's so good. I obviously don't look freshly clean at the root, but yes, I will have weeks where I look much greasier than this. If I don't use that dry shampoo, maybe one that doesn't work as well for me, but that typically is not my biggest problem. My biggest problem is just this. By this point in the week, I have product build up. My hair doesn't feel great anymore. It's not looking great. Looks a lot more frazzled, looks more dry and just disheveled to say the least. So because of that, I don't ever really try to do anything to style this down because I know it's pretty much a lost cause. So what I always like to do on day six and then maybe in the morning for day seven if I'm not washing until later in the afternoon or at night is to put my hair in a slicked back low bun. So that way you cannot see any of this going on, but it actually creates a really pretty bun because I have extra volume from all of this buildup and we have a little bit of extra oil slick at the root to help to slick the hair back. So I'll just keep my part like this. I cannot do a full on middle part because I have a colic. So don't ask. But I will just use a hosiery elastic like this or a scrunchie to create a bun. And I will pretty much just wrap it around twice, pull it up like this, and just kind of let it go like that. Obviously not the cutest bun you've ever seen in your life, but I just, I mean, I don't even care. Just want it away from my face. I want it hidden. I don't want to feel it because it doesn't feel great at this point. You know for sure that my hair is filthy if I'm rocking this look, you know for sure. So I am not going to do another sit down check in tomorrow morning since I will be washing my hair. Tonight I'm going to go ahead and apply my hair oils that I always like to apply the night before I wash. Those have not changed. I will list those in my description box below if you guys are curious. Just my hair oils from The Ordinary that I love, but because that really is part of my wash day routine, not gonna walk through that in this video. If you guys would like an updated wash day routine, let me know, but that's why we're not really gonna check in tomorrow because the week is done as far as I'm concerned. I cannot wait to wash this. But if you guys were curious to see one final root check tomorrow on day seven and truly on that seventh day, what that is looking like, then I will pop that in right here really quickly before we wrap up. All right, you guys, that is it for my week-long hair vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed this and that it answered a lot of the questions that you guys had about how I manage my hair throughout the week. Again, I'm going to have all the products that I use, so hair products, brushes, 
hair ties, all of that listed in my description box below if you guys are interested in picking any of those up. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Let me know what your current wash schedule is, if you do any of the things that I do to take care of your hair throughout the week, or if you are going to change something about your hair care routine after watching this video, because I am super curious. But that is everything. So my next video will be up in a few days. Stay tuned for that so that you don't miss out. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.